Whether you just had a breast surgery or you are preparing for one, finding the right bra that fits exactly what you need can be challenging. A standard underwire bra or even a sports bra is likely not going to be very comfortable or fit what you need. Whether you've had a mastectomy or a lumpectomy or reconstruction or an augmentation or even radiation on top of it, there are a lot of factors that play a role in finding a bra that works best for you. There are so many factors to consider and knowing where to start can be really tough. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in oncology, lymphedema, and women's health. So I see a lot of women each and every day after their breast surgery. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite bras designed specifically for those who've had breast surgery or even radiation. So I'm gonna go through various different bras for different types of surgery and also explain what I personally like about them as a physical therapist for my patients or for women after their surgery or their treatment. This video is gonna share a lot of different types of surgeries, but if you're looking to narrow it down to a specific type of surgery, I will create future videos on specific bras or specific treatment ideas for each type of surgery, such as a mastectomy versus a lumpectomy as well as those who have had swelling or lymphedema. So if that is something that interests you and you wanna see more videos on that, be sure to subscribe down below and press the notification bell to see when those videos come out. I'm gonna share six different bras in this video and the first four are gonna be from Ana Ono. I will place links for Ana Ono's website and social media down below and I highly recommend checking them out. So if you go to anaono.com, you can search for a bra based on different types of surgeries or different types of bras. So if you go to shop bras, you can search by treatment, such as after radiation or after your surgery, as well as by body type. So if you have a mastectomy or you had a unilateral, meaning one side surgery, you can look there, as well as a lumpectomy. So if I were to click on mastectomy bras and scroll down, you can see all the different types of bras that were made for those who've had a mastectomy. Again, this means that you can also put in a prosthesis or a breast form or a mossy pad, or they will lay flat. So you can see all the different types of bras, including some with lace, some that are basic, some with front closure, different types of backs, anything that may work for you in your shape. You can also search by the different types of bras. So if you want something with a front closure after surgery, because you know that's gonna be easier for you to don and doff or get on and off, then you can go to that tab and look down and see all the different front closure bras that they have. Again, some we're gonna have lace and different styles. Some have different backs, hopefully to meet all of your needs. What I like about Ana Ono is on their main page, you can scroll down, you can also see that all of the bra choices are made for you right in the front based on your surgery. So whether you've had the implants, lumpectomies, mastectomies, flat closures, or unilateral, meaning one-sided, you can find them pretty easily for you based on what your needs are without having to dig around and find in a sea of bras from another large store. So the main things that I hear from my patients after surgery are soreness and pain, unable to reach above their head with or without the drains just because of the tightness and the soreness, unable to reach behind to unclasp a regular bra. Some may also have what we call neuropathic pain or that hypersensitivity where anything touching the skin is more painful. And then many have swelling of some sorts, whether it's post-surgical swelling or for a little bit down the road, maybe it is lymphedema. So some of the main things that we're looking at is trying to avoid underwire underneath, not only due to irritations and the incision, but also to avoid any pinching for any swelling. And so we're looking for bras that don't have a lot of that underwire or a lot of that thick banding. So one of the other things we talked about is hypersensitivity or irritation, either from the surgery or radiation. And so we're looking for a soft, thin fabric that doesn't cause a lot of friction. And for that loss of range of motion and that tightness for reaching overhead, we want something that's easy to get it on and off that you don't have to try to pull up over your head, A, because some of you can't reach above your head due to restrictions with your drains, but also for comfort and pain. 
it's always ideal to find a bra that's going to meet your needs throughout your treatment or throughout your surgeries. For some, they just may have the one surgery, but for a lot of people, they're gonna have multiple surgeries, whether it's for reconstruction with expanders and implants, or they may also have radiation on top of it. A bra that's gonna meet your needs and work with you throughout your timeline is gonna be a really ideal option. So a reason why I really love the bras that I'm gonna show you in this video today is because they do just that. So the first bra that I'm gonna show is here right here next to me. This is Ana Ono's Rora bra. And this bra was voted the best post mastectomy bra by InStyle Magazine. Now I wish you could feel the fabric of these bras I'm gonna show today through the video because they are incredibly soft, including this bra. So when we talked about that hypersensitivity pain or that irritation, whether from its radiation or just the surgery, this bra is gonna be really soft against the skin to avoid that irritation or that friction. As you may be able to see in the front that there is a front closure with three different levels so you can adjust that as you need or as you swell for comfort. But mainly it makes it really easy to get on and off, especially while you're trying to do any dressings or cleanings of your incision sites. For those who have that tightness and it's really sore to move your arms to get behind you, this is also a really nice option so you don't have to reach your shoulders into certain positions. The back of the bra has a nice wide band at the bottom and it has straps that can adjust as well as you can crisscross these. So these unhook and you can cross them for whatever fit you may like. The front has pockets with modesty pads in them but you can take them out and put in a prosthesis or you can leave everything out and this bra will lay flat against you for after a mastectomy. If you had a unilateral mastectomy and you have one side that will want to keep flat and the other not, this bra is also going to be nice for you because it is flexible and will adjust with your size or your shape. So I think that's the really nice part and flexible part about this bra is that it's going to fit your needs throughout the continuum of your treatment. After surgery, after radiation, for all different types of surgeries or different phases of surgeries, it's, it's going to meet your needs and your silhouette. So as a physical therapist, I feel that the Aurora bra is one of the best go-to bras for after surgery to meet a woman right exactly where she's at. So the next bra that I'm gonna show is the Bianca Razorback Sports Bra. So like the Aurora bra, this bra is also a front closure bra, and so you can adjust it and take it on and off pretty easily without having to go up overhead like a typical sports bra. That's gonna make it a lot easier for anyone who has that restriction in the shoulder or with pain. It does have removable bodice pads in here, so you can insert your own cups or take them both out to fit what your silhouette needs are. It will lay flat once you take the paddings out, so it can be a great option for mastectomies too. In the back, what you're going to see is that it's made out of mesh, so it's light and breathable and airy, so your skin can breathe well while you work out. It has adjustable straps, but it is a razor back for that extra support. What I like a lot about this bra is that the band at the bottom is not too thick. What I see as a physical therapist is a lot of women will get really tender around the rib cage after their surgeries. The ribs just don't like a lot pushing and prodding on them, especially after these surgeries, it gets a little bit more irritated. So this is gonna be a lot more comfortable than a typical sports bra for someone to wear and be active with. So as a physical therapist, the number one thing that I always support is exercise. We know that everyone has a healing stage, but once they're cleared and we try to get them back into their activity or gentle exercise again, we wanna look for a bra that's going to be supportive without being too tight like a typical sports bra with the band underneath. See a lot of women that have more tenderness, pain with the rib cage with that pressure around there. So this is gonna be a nice in-between for those who wanna be more active, but still have that extra support. This next bra is the Monica Full Coverage Bra. This bra is extremely light. It is insanely soft and extremely comfortable overall. So this bra is gonna be a great go-to bra for after surgery or after radiation, or even for those who just have that hypersensitivity or that neuropathic pain as we call it. So this fabric is gonna be really soft and so it won't cause as much harsh rubbing against your skin and that can be a little bit more comfortable. I have some women that will even walk into me holding their shirt away from themselves or 
wearing a big baggy sweatshirt that doesn't touch because of that sensation or that sensitivity. But this bra is gonna be really nice because it does lay against you without a lot of movement because it is that light hug, but it is really, really soft that it's gonna be a lot less harsh than a standard bra is gonna be. It doesn't have any underwiring. It does have just that liner underneath, so there's not as many harsh seams. This bra is not a front closure like the other two. It does have ruching here to give a little bit cute detail to it, but in the back it is closed or clasped here. It has straps that are adjustable like the other bras, but this one also will crisscross if you wanted to based on what kind of fit you'd like. Like the other bras, you can remove any modesty pads and this bra will lay flat against your body or adjust with any forms or prosthesis or whatever your needs are. So again, like the others, this is another great option for a bra that's going to work for someone through the continuum of their surgeries and their treatment. So as a physical therapist, I would say this is the best bra for just a day-to-day -day wear that is a little bit more full coverage and just really soft and comfortable against the skin. So it's definitely a go-to for those who have any irritation with their skin or with radiation. The only thing that I have to look for is to make sure that someone can clasp it in the back. One more option from Ana Ono that I'm gonna share is the Leslie bra. I would call this bra the minimalist bra. This bra is extremely soft, extremely thin and comfortable, so it's not gonna give a lot of pressure or a lot of extra fabric. The band at the bottom is thinner than the other ones are, so again, it's very minimalist. So for those who don't like a lot of pressure there or have that tenderness, this is going to be a great option. This one you can also take in and out mossy pads or cups or forms as you'd like, or it will also lay flat. In the back, it is a wider, thicker back for more support in the back. The straps are also adjustable and you can also crisscross these bra straps as well. This bra has a couple mesh panels in the front and the sides for a nice feminine detail. This bra does not have any zippers or clasps, so you're not gonna have that thicker seam where they will be. Um, the only way to get on and off is going to be up over the head, but really the easiest way for someone who's had surgery is going to be able to pull it down. It does have a lot of stretch to it, and so it's going to be easy to get on and off moving down the body rather than up and over for those who have issues with that after surgery. As a physical therapist, I would look at this bra and who would I think about putting this in? I would say those who have any of that irritation, that hypersensitivity with radiation, someone who wants really something thin that is going to be soft against their skin. Also for someone who just wants that minimalist feel. If someone has a lot of rib cage tenderness and doesn't want a lot of that pressure or the bands, this would be a fantastic option for them because it's not going to be tight against their ribs. Similar to these four options that I just shared, Ana Ono is gonna have a ton of different other options, more with lace detail or more coverage or more support. Just a lot of different options, again, to meet each individual exactly where they're at. So again, be sure to go check out the website. You can search by what your needs are based on your type of surgery, but hopefully hearing from a physical therapist of what are the things that I see most commonly after post-surgery or after radiation, that will help you get an idea of what type of bra you might wanna to work towards. So we've talked about the hypersensitivity, the soreness, the pain, the range of motion, but the last factor, the last symptom or side effect that we see as physical therapists very often is swelling or even lymphedema. Swelling can be common after surgery. We call it post-surgical swelling and it will go down as you heal. But chronic swelling, that is a dysfunction of the lymphatic system due to typically lymph nodes removed or radiation, that can be breast cancer related lymphedema. These last two bras are made specifically as compression bras for lymphedema or swelling. So the maker of these last two bras is Prairie Wear. Prairie Wear is a company that creates compression and lymphedema bras for after surgery. You can find them at a lot of different vendors in your area or you can find them online and shop their different styles. So whether someone has general swelling after surgery or a seroma or even lymphedema, some sort of compression bra is going to be the best option. Compression bras can be really cumbersome and actually really challenging to find something that works well as a true compression bra. Prairie Wear has a couple different great options that have a very large range in sizes. They have two main compression bras, the Hugger Vita and the Hugger Prima. 
The style here next to me is the Hugger Vita. Hugger Vita is for more mild swelling and it does give good compression, but probably not for someone who has severe lymphedema. It has a front closure zipper and when you open it up, what you'll see is it also has a G hook in the middle to help make it easier to don and doff. The Hugger Vita does have a band at the bottom, but it is seamless and it's not overly thick like other compression bras. So it's not gonna give that uncomfortable pressure against the ribs and it's gonna be more uniform compression throughout. The Hugger Vita has a moderately high side because when we're looking at compression bras, you wanna make sure that you get it up nice and high because this is where some of the swelling sits, but it has a thinner band with adjustable straps in the back and a little bit wider band in the back for more support. So the other bra they have besides the Vita is their Hugger Prima, which is for more moderate to significant swelling. When we're looking at the Prima, we're looking at a very full coverage bra, which is going to be great specifically for those who have swelling globally in the chest wall, as this bra is going to come up really high. And on the sides, it's gonna come up nice and high into the axilla without cutting into the armpit too much. It's also gonna have a nice long width in the side so that the compression's all the way down and spread out rather than having a thick band right at the ribs. It also has a seamless band at the bottom and so you're not getting too much of a tourniquet at the bottom. And of course, there's no underwire. For both of these bras, they do have removable modesty pads that you can take in and out. And the great thing about this type of bra, because we're using it for lymphedema or swelling, is that they have inserted pockets that actually wrap all the way around to the back. And so we see a lot of swelling on the side of the chest or even a little bit into the back. You can insert a swell spot into one of these bras that will fit to help with more fibrotic tissue or for more compression. If someone has a mastectomy but also has that swelling, the nice thing about these is you can remove them and then the bra will lay flat against the chest. And so this bra is going to be flexible based on what someone's needs are and what their shape and silhouette is. What I like most about this bra as a physical therapist is that it gives a lot of really full coverage in the back, on the side, and the front. What I see a lot of women struggle with is finding a bra that gives enough coverage up top and on the sides, where these are those stubborn areas that a lot of bras don't cover. Well, this bra is gonna do a really nice job of giving you all of that coverage with the options to add swell spots inside, add prosthesis, or even add ice packs. The other thing that's nice about these bras is the sizes that they come in. They come in a size small, like this is the Vita in a small, and this is a double XL in the Prima. You only need one measurement to get the sizes, but you can follow along on the website on how to size, or you can ask your therapist or your vendor to assist with that. But the other nice thing, as we know, with swelling and various silhouettes is that everyone is different and everyone fluctuates a little bit. So if you're looking at one size and you're realizing that either you're fluctuating or it's a little bit too small for you, you can add what they have are extenders. And so this is the Prima. What I'm gonna do is if I unzip the front, can take the extender and zip up in the inside on one side. And then on the other side, zip it up again. And that'll give you a lot more fabric. So for some women, they, it is really comfortable if it gets too tight in the inside and just adding an expander gives a little bit more relief. However, the other thing I see it a lot for is someone will start with an expander because they are swollen with the swelling and as they go down, as the volume goes down with the compression bras, they can take the expander out and move down to a smaller size so that they continue to get that compression that they need. You can get expanders for both bras in various different sizes, again, to fit whatever your needs are. Overall, I do feel that these are some of the best compression bras on the market right now because they have thought a lot about what lymphedema is, how it works, and what women's needs are. I'm gonna place a link down below for Prairie Wear's website where you can go and check out their bras as well. So as a physical therapist, those are some of the best go-to bras that I feel that are out there for after breast surgery, radiation, or other treatment. Again, everyone's gonna have a different need. Everyone is a different shape, different silhouette, but there are bras out there that can work for you. 
definitely go and check out either Auto Ono's or Prairie Wear's website to find more information and look at different options that they have. Be sure to check with your doctor, your physical therapist, or the vendor for your specific needs because they might have other ideas on what works best for you. And again, I plan to do other videos specifically for different types of surgeries and what their needs are, or what type of bras may work well for them. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe down below, as well as press the like button if you found this video helpful. And we'll see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.